All right, on Saturday out in Chicago, Illinois, it's UFC 225 with two title fights. But in the main event, we have the UFC middleweight champion Robert Whitaker defending his belt against Yoel Romero. Goes, what happens in the main event? This is a scary main event, guys. I know we've seen it before, but I feel like this fight's going to play out a little differently. Yoel Romero is a scary guy to face at any point in your career, but coming off an injury, even scarier. That is why I'm going to lean. You have to nitpick because it was such a close fight the first time. You got a nitpick. I'm going to go with Yoel Romero this time. It's tough. I don't think it's going to look the same either. It's hard to forecast when you have two fighters that are just so well-rounded. And you have to think that not only is Whitaker coming off an injury, but he was also injured in that fight. In fact, I believe within the first minute, he got his knee compromised and had to fight through. So it's really hard to use that as a measuring stick. That said, with a compromised knee, he was able to defend takedowns, fight the hands, get back to his feet. And even though he couldn't get his jab going as much as he liked to, he was able to get hooks and front kicks and kind of find his rhythm. Both guys are some of the best distance managers and best at closing that distance, which makes this super dangerous, which makes it a fight that could end at any round. So don't take your, your eyes away from the TV. But I'm going to be siding with Robert Whitaker to get it done inside the distance. So I'm the tiebreaker here, huh? All right. Yeah. Now, the odds are here in Vegas, minus 225 for Whitaker, plus 175 for Yo Romero. The layoff, not a big fan. They fought before, and yes, Whitaker with a hobbled leg was still able to get out there and get the win. A lot of people said it went to the, it went down to the fifth round. I, I believe it was the, the last minute or so. Um, I, I, I like the way Romero bounced back against Luke Rockhold. I saw a guy that was more patient, that was willing to distribute, if needed, his energy. Because he does tend to fade. I think that's also what cost him the Whitaker fight. So I think uh, even though he's 40, he's smarter. He's an athletic phenom, and I just think he's got too many weapons out there that I've seen him use over the years. I think he's going to catch Whitaker, and you know what? You know me. I love me some underdogs, so uh, two out of three, I'm going to have to go with Yoel Romero in this one. There you have it. There's the main event breakdown brought to you by the MMA Junkie Radio Team.